I am Denise. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about the difference in pronunciation in the words can and can't. I will describe the differences and then I will give you some sentences to practice with me and then I will give you a short quiz at the end. All right? So thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe and to share it with your friends. And also if you care to donate, there's a link in the description box to do that. Okay? All right, let me get started. The, first of all, these words look very much the same. The letters are the same, C-A-N, C-A-N. This has an additional apostrophe T. But although the letters are the same, the sounds are not all the same. The differences between these words are right here. The vowel sound is different. So the vowel is the letter A in each of these words, but that letter A sounds different in these two words. This is the biggest difference in the words and the most important difference. But there are other differences as well, and, and they are important too. The second difference is the stress, the amount of stress that these words get in a sentence. By stress, I mean how strong we say those words. How strong, how loud, how long they are, okay? Are we emphasizing that word? Are we making it stronger? Or are we making it weaker and smaller? In this case, the can is the weaker or stronger word. Can't is the stronger or louder word or the word with more stress. The third difference is with the letter T. Now, we don't really pronounce this T. We don't give it a full pronunciation. We actually most, most of the time don't really pronounce it at all. But we do have a sound there, okay, for this, this T or this NT. So I will <clears throat> go over that. Again, the biggest difference is in the vowel sound. So, when, first of all, when I'm describing this, when I talk about the word can by itself in isolation, that means I'm only saying the word can. I'm not saying the entire sentence. In that case, I am stressing the word can, can, and I'm giving you this vowel sound, a, which is the same here. But we normally don't talk about the one word, can, okay? Just in this video when I say it, I just want to explain that. But when I'm saying it in a sentence, I do not use that, okay? I do not use the full pronunciation or the full vowel sound. What I do is I reduce or make smaller or shorter that vowel sound, and it sounds like a, uh, the schwa sound, or i. Uh. The full sound is given just for the word can't most of the time, okay? So, <clears throat> let me back up again. I guess I'm kind of jumping all over. I'm sorry. Let me start again with the vowel sound. The vowel sound in these two words is different. The full vowel sound is a, as in the word can't. Can't. A. But within most sentences like this, when the word can is followed by a verb, and here the verb is here, in a sentence like this, that vowel sound is reduced to a uh, or i. <clears throat> so this, the full sound would be can. I can hear you, but we don't say that. We say, I can hear you, that would be this or I can hear you, that would be this. These two sounds are very close. Don't worry about that. Some speakers make it more like the schwa, some make it more like the i, that doesn't matter. What matters is that whichever vowel sound you use is short and it's not the full vowel sound, okay? So this one, I can hear you. I can hear you, I can hear you. I can hear you, I can hear you. Can, can. They're very close. Don't worry about it. But <laughs> just briefly, please look at my mouth, okay? <clears throat> when I say eh, uh, my mouth doesn't.
doesn't move much, but it's open a little bit. When I move to it, you'll see my mouth just slightly widen, okay? So you'll see that, but then when I get to ah, my mouth opens more, okay? Just, just watch my mouth.
tongue stops up there, okay? So these are the key differences between these two words. First, the vowel sound. The vowel is short in this word. It's either a uh or i. Uh. I can hear you. I can hear you. It's a full a uh in this word. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Second is the stress. In this sentence, when can is followed by a verb, can is not stressed, so it's, it's not loud, it's not strong, it's weak, it's short and weak. But in this sentence, it is stressed. Both can't and the verb here are stressed. And then the T, of course, okay? We put our tongue on the ridge behind our teeth for can't, but we just don't complete it, okay? Here are some exceptions to what I have just told you, okay? All right, with the word can, I told you that it is reduced. The vowel is either a uh or i, but when the word can is not followed by a verb, it, it can also be the full a uh vowel sound, okay? So what I have here, when not followed by verb, can, or it can be a uh, or a uh, i. So the vowel can have either pronunciation, okay? It just depends on the person and how much emphasis they want to put on the word can, all right? So I've given you an example here. The letter A just means person A if two people are speaking, okay? And B just means person B. So can is not followed by a verb here. This is a question. Can is the, the first word of the sentence. But the speaker could say can, they could give the full a vowel. Can you do that? Can. Can you do that? Or they can also give the reduced, one of the two reduced vowel sounds. Can you do that? Can you do that? So different speakers do it slightly different. Again, it might depend on how much emphasis they want to give on that word or that question. Um, also, sometimes on how quickly or slowly they speak, all right? So they can do it either way. So this is with the full vowel sound, the a. Eh. Can you do that? Can you do that? And this is with the reduced vowel sound. Can you do that? Can you do that? So in this case, uh, different speakers would do it differently. Some would say can, the full sound. Some would say can or kin, the reduced sound. And the answer is the same way. Okay, when not followed by a verb. So here, the word can is not followed by a verb, and it's the last word in the sentence, okay? There's no verb after that. So here, the speaker could use either pronunciation. Um, a is maybe better. Yes, I can. Yes, I can, because they're also giving it some stress. But many speakers might just say, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can. They might reduce it also. So again, this, these vary among speakers, all right? When can is not followed by a verb. Another time that the word can is not reduced is when we want to emphasize, to emphasize something, to make it more important, to show it off more. So to emphasize something or to disagree with somebody. And here are two examples here. They go across. Again, A is for speaker A, B is for speaker B. So if A says, you can't swim, you can't swim, and you want to disagree with them, you could say, yes I can, yes I can, and you would emphasize can. You would give the full vowel sound, the A ah sound, okay? You're disagreeing with this person. You can't swim, you can't swim, yes I can. Yes, I can. And you want to you wanna really show that you are disagreeing that this person is wrong. Here's the, this, the same example again, but this time I've included the word swim. I've included the verb after. So, you can't swim. Yes, I can swim. Yes, I can swim. So I'm really disagreeing with person A, so again I would emphasize can. You can't swim. Yes, I can swim, all right? So those are just two exceptions, one, two, um, with the word can, 
when we might give it the, or well, for sure here, when we for sure give it the a vowel sound. These two, this is for sure, we always would give the a, the full sound. This one um, varies by the speaker. Some speakers would give a, some would give a uh, or a. Uh. All right, now an exception with can. I said that when we pronounce this word, we stop the air either in our throat or with our tongue for the T, okay? But my exception is that air is not always stopped before a vowel. So in this case, my verb starts with a vowel sound. It's the verb open. It starts with an O vowel sound. What many speakers do is they don't do anything for the T here, and they connect the N or the N sound with the vowel that follows. So they are not always stopping the air, as I showed you previously. When I had the verb hear, the verb hear started with the letter H with the consonant sound. Okay, it was a consonant sound. But here, my verb starts with a vowel sound. I can't open that. I can move right, or many speakers, move right from the N, can, right into the O. Oh, I can't open that. I can't open that. I can't open that. Now, other speakers will continue to stop the air. Again, it depends on the speaker. I just wanted to put this as an exception so that you may, to let you know that you may not always hear that stopped air. Okay? It would sound like I can't open that. I can't open. Can open. Can open. I'm, this almost sounds like nopen. Nopen. Okay? Like the N is over here. I ca. And then put that in here. Nopen. I can't open. <laughs> All right. Those are just some exceptions. I'd like to practice saying some sentences with you now. Please listen to me say these sentences and please repeat, okay? The sentences on this side all have the word can. These are affirmative or positive sentences. They're not negative. So in these sentences, we are going to reduce the word can. We're going to reduce that vowel and we're going to stress the verb. The sentences on this side <clears throat> all have the word can't. So. And that time I pronounced the T, didn't I? Can't. It's because I was <laughs> emphasizing it. But the words on this side all have the word can't. So they're all negative sentences. And in these sentences, we're going to stress both the can't and the verb. Okay? And the vowel sound here will be the a, ah, the full a ah vowel sound. Okay? All right, let's go. Please listen to me say these sentences and please repeat. I have underlined the words that we should stress. Okay? All right. <clears throat> and remember, when we reduce this, we can make the schwa, the uh, or the i sound. So please repeat. I can hear you. I can hear you. So I'm stressing here. I'm reducing can. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay. She can swim. She can swim. She can't swim. She can't swim. They can see you. They can see you. They can't see you. They can't see you. <laughs> Sometimes you can't see me on this video, right? I'm off the screen. Oh, well, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. He can teach you English. He can teach you English. And if you can't see me, at least you'll still be able to hear me. Okay. He can't teach you English. He can't teach you English. The children can play all day. The children can play all day. I guess I've got 
hands. The children can't play all day. The children can't play all day. All right, there was a little bit of practice. Now I have a short quiz for you. Here's a quiz for you. I have six sentences written on the board, and for each sentence, I have both words can and can't. I will read each sentence twice, but I will only say one of the words, either can or can't. I would like you to listen carefully and decide which of the two words I say. All right? So that's what I'm going to do. After I give you a short time to decide which word it is, I will then mark the word with my marker here. I'll mark the one that I said so that you will know for sure. All right? Okay, and then at the end we'll read them all again. So, let's start. Listen to me read these sentences and decide whether I say can or can't. <laughs> okay. He can go with us tomorrow. He can go with us tomorrow. Which one? Alright, it was can. He can. He can go with us tomorrow. The mechanic can't fix the car. The mechanic can't fix the car. Which one? It was can't. He can't fix the car. All right? I can't cook dinner tonight. I can't cook dinner tonight. Which one? It was can't. All right. I can't understand that. I can't understand that. Which one? It was can't. Now I know you didn't hear the T because I, I connected the N here with the U here with the U. Uh. All right. I can't understand that. All right, and you should have heard that ah with that word. All right. She can't open the jar. She can't open the jar. Which one? All right, that too was can't. Again, I know you couldn't hear the T, but you should have heard the ah. I can't. I can't open the jar. Okay? All right, one more. He can answer the question. He can answer the question. And which one was that? Okay, that was can. He can, can. It wasn't a, eh, it was uh. I don't know, I don't know now if I did a eh or i, eh, but I, I know that I reduced it. He can answer, okay, that was kin. He can answer the question. He can answer the question. All right, so I hope you did well. Um, I will read each sentence again, please repeat it after me, okay? He can go with us tomorrow. He can go with us tomorrow. All right. And by the way, I'm saying the same word that I said last time, okay? The word that I have marked. All right. The mechanic can't fix the car. The mechanic can't fix the car. All right. I can't cook tonight. I can't cook tonight. Right. I can't understand that. I can't understand that. All right. She can't open the jar. She can't open the jar. All right. And by the way, I'm trying not to shake my head when I do the negatives, but often we do shake our head if we're saying no. You know? can't understand that. So that gives a clue to our speaker too that we're saying the negative. If I'm shaking my head like that, that means no, it's not, or negative, okay? She can't open the jar, or I'll scrunch up my face a little bit, okay? So those are additional clues. So if you look at the speaker, that can help you decide whether the speaker is saying can or can't also, all right? Okay, last one. He can answer the question. He can answer the question. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope that this video helped you. Please remember to like, to share, to subscribe, and if you can, please donate. That would be a big, a huge help to me if you could do that too. But even if you can't, I just really, really appreciate your watching this video. Please go ahead and look at some of my other videos. I have many videos out there and I really hope that they help you. I hope that they can help you. I'll say can, okay? I hope that they can help you. I hope that they do help you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.